I had a conversation with a sister the other day. She was doing the dumbest zina. It was dumb zina. I was like, why are you doing that? She said to me, look, she wanted to find out more about No Shoes Decay. She said to me, I'm not going to lie to you. For the past few years, I've been committing zina with my ex-husband. Bruv, what's the point in that? Why didn't you just marry him again? You know what she said? I didn't want to marry him. You know, the whole thought of getting into a full-time marriage and him coming back and living full-time, I didn't want that. But I thought if I'm going to commit zina, better for it to be with my ex-husband than for it to be with a stranger. Did she think she was committing a lesser of a sin or something? Yeah. That's mad. Ajib gharib. And this is where now the halal has become hard and the haram has become easy. If she was presented with this idea that there is a way whereby she can do a no strings nikah and she can engage with her ex-husband in halal without having to integrate him full time back into her life because that was what put her off doing a conventional marriage. Then she wouldn't have fallen into this trap. She wouldn't have fallen into zina. 